I think I didn't have time to think about whether I made a best choice. The first 20 years, including the MTech program, we didn't look at the outside world. And once I came to DRDL uh, laboratory at Hyderabad, it's like uh, I was selected for the Agni program. We don't even talk to anyone on what we are actually working for. Almost 15 years, nobody knew where I am. Even my friends also, I have lost uh, touch with many of my friends also because the way uh, the programs were uh, streamlined that we are not supposed to talk about where we were working. So that's the way. <laughs> no regrets because it's uh, for the, uh, I, we know the importance, national importance uh, of this and the responsibility what has been put to us. So keep working, that was the ultimate uh, aim in our life. Absolutely, and you've inspired so many, so many women. Uh, when we talk about women empowerment and what needs to be done to get more women into the workforce and into leadership roles, we've been discussing STEM education. Um, what is your message to girls who want to pursue science as a career? Yeah, uh, actually when I joined the organization, it was hardly less than 3%. Uh, women, uh, girls were joining. Today the trend has changed, 15 to 18 percent uh, women work as scientists and that's really encouraging and today because of the awareness that uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, mathematics are uh, easy to learn, I feel uh, now the younger generations, because I have a lot of interaction with the school children as well as college students, they feel uh, really motivated to take up this. If uh, ordinary person doing engineering like me can come and uh, work on uh, uh, this scientific field. Any present generation is with lot of knowledge around. We had only the textbook knowledge, what we learned, but today the whole knowledge is around and we need to uh, only think and uh, the inner, uh, inner desire to do this work in this field. And science, uh, STEM subjects are equally uh, easy as any other subjects. That's what I feel. Um, I know uh, uh, scientists from, my friend from ISRO also will vouch for that. I think if once you learn it's, uh, uh, you only fear what you do not know, but once you learn you know the everything. That's the way the knowledge uh, helps us in uh, going ahead. A big round of applause for that. You only <laughs> fear what you do not know. Um, <laughs> Dr. Thomas, I'm sure uh, leadership is difficult both for men and women, especially for women. And in a field where there are very few women colleagues and leaders, were there moments in your career where you felt dejected and then you thought, I will show it to them and I will do it? Do you have such stories? Yeah, maybe when I was designated for project director Agni 4. Like uh, we had done Agni 1, uh, Agni 2 and Agni 3. That was a different class of technology, where existing technologies with the uh, rocket motor casing, metallic ones were used. But uh, world across had a different uh, type of uh, picture altogether. Then I was asked to see, like uh, Agni 3 with 50 ton, we are reaching only 3,000 kilometers. World across were uh, claiming 3,500 and so, with that type of uh, weight launch mass. When I gone through the technology, we have to uh, enter into composite uh, rocket motor casing, composite technology, where which was even the carbon fiber, the material, raw material needed for that was not available in the country. So this was the time uh, I was given the task of developing a system of world class, where weight reduction also has to be there. And uh, initially, uh, the mandate was if we may change the one of the stage of the rocket motor we may be able to achieve, but uh, the things were not that uh, easy as it looked. That's where uh, I was thinking, uh, at one point of time I was not sure the responsibility what was shouldered on me. I thought it is uh, it's easy, but it was not so. So we had to go through the development of composite rocket motor technology, uh, prove its capability, design, uh, test it, and then take it uh, into the, as a rocket motor casing. And uh, finally, when uh, the efforts of after four years, 
we could achieve uh, with 22 ton as a launch mass, uh, launch capability up to 4,000. That is how Agni 4 came up. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic story. Yeah. What is it that motivates you, Dr. Thomas? It's like we work for technologies first of its kind, uh, which is not available within the country, as far as uh, we call it uh, innovative. Uh, it's the challenge. Uh, it's the challenge what comes to us or the opportunity given to us to do something new. Definitely, we had a lot of uh, great visionaries like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. They all had a great vision of what our country should have as a defense capability what our government uh, tells us, something totally uh, innovative, which doesn't exist in anywhere in the world. So that's how the Agni class of guidance law, where I was the designer for this Agni class of systems, first of its kind in the world, we can say, and systems of world class has been made for Agni 4, and same technology was adapted for Agni 5. That's how we, it's the um, need of the nation or the requirement for our countries and the responsibility given to us, that makes us uh, motivated as defense scientists.